Qian Zuzin was a Chinese scientist who made important contributions to the missile and space programs of both the United States and China. The name he used while in the United States was Hsue Shenzhen or Hs. Cian. During the 1940s Qian was one of the founders of the Jet Propulsion Laboratory at the California Institute of Technology. During the second Red Scare of the 1950s, the United States government accused Qian of having communist sympathies, and he was stripped of his security clearance in 1950. Qian then decided to return to China, but instead was detained at Terminal Island near Los Angeles. After spending five years under virtual house arrest, Qian was released in 1955, in exchange for the repatriation of American pilots captured during the Korean War. Notified by U.S. authorities that he was free to go, Qian immediately arranged his departure, leaving for China in September 1955. On the passenger liner SS President Cleveland of American President Lines via Hong Kong, he returned to lead the Chinese rocket program, and became known as the father of Chinese rocketry. He was the cousin of the mechanical engineer Hsu Ichu Sian, and his nephew is the 2008 Nobel Prize in Chemistry winner Roger Y. Sian. Asteroid 3763 Qiang Zuzan and the ill-fated spaceship Sian in the science fiction novel 2010, Odyssey 2 are named after him. Early Life and Education Qian Zuzan was born in Hangzhou, the capital of Zhejiang Province, 180 kilometers southwest of Shanghai. He left Hangzhou at the age of three, when his father obtained a post in the Ministry of Education in Beijing. Qian graduated from the high school affiliated to Beijing Normal University, then graduated from Chiao Tung University in Shanghai in 1934 and received a degree in mechanical engineering. With an emphasis on railroad administration, he then spent an internship at Nanchang Air Force Base. In August 1935 Qian left China on a Boxer Rebellion Indemnity Scholarship to study mechanical engineering at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology and earned a Master of Science degree from MIT a year later. While at MIT he was influenced by the methods of American engineering education and its focus on experimentation. Kean's experiments included the plotting of plot pressures using mercury-filled manometers. Qian sought a school where his mathematical skills would be appreciated, and went to the California Institute of Technology to pursue his studies under Theodore von Kármán. Qian earned his doctorate from Caltech in 1939 with a thesis on slender body theory at high speeds. He would remain on the Caltech faculty until his departure for China in 1955, becoming the Robert H. Goddard Professor of Jet Propulsion in 1949, and establishing a reputation as one of the leading rocket scientists in the United States. It was shortly after arriving at Caltech in 1936 that Qian was attracted to the rocketry ideas of Frank Molina, other students of von Kármán, and their associates, including Jack Parsons. Around Caltech, the dangerous and explosive nature of their work earned them the nickname Suicide Squad, career in the United States. In 1943, Qian and two others in the Caltech Rocketry Group drafted the first document to use the name Jet Propulsion Laboratory. It was a proposal to the Army for developing missiles in response to Germany's V-2 rocket. This led to the Private A, which flew in 1944, and later the Corporal, the WAC Corporal, and other designs. After World War II he served under von Kármán as a consultant to the United States Army Air Forces, and commissioned with the assimilated rank of Colonel. Von Kármán and Cien both were sent by the Army to Germany to investigate the progress of wartime aerodynamics research. Qian investigated research facilities and interviewed German scientists including Wernher von Braun and Rudolf Hermann. Von Kármán wrote of Qian, at the age of 36, 
He was an undisputed genius whose work was providing an enormous impetus to advances in high-speed aerodynamics and jet propulsion. The American Journal Aviation Week and Space Technology would name Kian its Person of the Year in 2007 and comment on his interrogation of Von Braun. No one then knew that the father of the future U.S. Space program was being quizzed by the father of the future Chinese space program. During this time, Colonel Qian worked on designing an intercontinental space plane. His work would inspire the X-20 dinosaur, which itself would later influence the development of the American space shuttle. Qian Zuzan married Jiang Ying, a famed opera singer and the daughter of Jiang Bailey and his wife, Japanese nurse Sato Yato. The elder Jiang was a military strategist and advisor to Kuomintang lead of Chiang Kai-shek. The Kians were married on September 14, 1947 in Shanghai, and would have two children. Their son Qian Yuang Gang was born in Boston on October 13, 1948, while their daughter Qian Yuang Zhen was born in early 1950, when the family was residing in Pasadena. Shortly after his wedding, Qian returned to America to take up a teaching position at MIT. Jiang Yingwood joined him in December 1947. In 1949, upon the recommendation of von Karman, Qian became the first director of the Daniel and Florence Guggenheim Jet Propulsion Center at Caltech. In 1947 Kian was granted a permanent resident permit, and in 1949 Kian applied for naturalization. Years later, his wife Jiang Ying said that he could not raise the necessary funds. In an interview with the pro-Beijing Phoenix television detention in the early 1940s, Army intelligence was already aware of allegations that Qian was a communist but his security clearance was not suspended. On June 6, 1950, however, his security clearance was revoked and Qian was questioned by the FBI. Two weeks later Qian announced that he would be resigning from Caltech and returning to China, which had come under the government of communist leader Mao Zedong. Qian had a conversation with the then Undersecretary of the Navy Dan A. Kimball, whom Qian knew on a personal basis, in August. After Qian told him of the allegations Kimball said, Hell, I don't think you're a communist, at which point Qian indicated that he intended to leave the country, saying, I'm Chinese. I don't want to build weapons to kill my countrymen. It's that simple. Kimball then said, I won't let you out of the country. After the firm in charge of arranging Kian's move back to China tipped off U.S. customs that some of the papers encountered while packing Kian's things were marked secret or confidential U.S. Officials went to the Pasadena warehouse where the materials were located and seized them. U.S. Immigration issued a warrant for Kian's arrest on August 25. Kian said that the documents that had security stamps were mostly written by himself and had outdated classifications, adding that there were some drawings and logarithm tables, etc., which someone might have mistaken for codes. Included in the material was a scrapbook with news clippings about the trials of those charged with atomic espionage such as Klaus Fuchs. Subsequent examination of the documents showed they contained no classified material. While at Caltech, Kian had secretly attended meetings also attended by J. Robert Oppenheimer's brother Frank Oppenheimer, Jack Parsons, and Frank Molina that were organized by the Russian-born Jewish chemist Sidney Weinbaum and called Professional Unit 122 of the Pasadena Communist Party. Weinbaum's trial commenced on August 30 and both Frank Oppenheimer and Parsons testified against him. Weinbaum was convicted of perjury and sentenced to four years. Kian was taken into custody on September 6, 1950 for questioning and for two weeks detained at Terminal Island, a low-security United States federal prison near the ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach. 
When Qian had returned from China with his new bride in 1947 he had answered no on an immigration questionnaire that asked if he ever had been a member of an organization advocating overthrow of the U.S. government by force and this, together with an American Communist Party document from 1938 with Qian's name on it, was used to argue that Qian was a national security threat. Prosecutors also cited a cross-examination session where Qian said, I owe allegiance to the people of China, and would certainly not let the government of the United States make his decision for him as to whom he would owe allegiance to in the event of a conflict between the U.S. and Red China. On April 26, 1951 Qian was declared subject to deportation and forbidden from leaving Los Angeles County without permission. Return to China. Qian became the subject of five years of secret diplomacy and negotiation between the U.S. and China. During this time he lived under constant surveillance with the permission to teach without any research duties. During his incarceration, Qian received support from his colleagues at Caltech, including the Institute's President Lee Dubridge, who flew to Washington to argue Qian's case. Caltech appointed attorney Grant Cooper to defend Qian. The ban on Qian's leaving was lifted on 4 August 1955 and Qian resigned from Caltech shortly thereafter. Qian departed from Los Angeles aboard the Grover Cleveland in September 1955 amidst rumors that this was a swap for 11 U.S. Ehrman held captive by China since the end of the Korean War, under Secretary Kimball, who had tried to keep Qian in the U.S., commented on the affair to say, It was the stupidest thing this country ever did. He was no more a communist than I was, and we forced him to go. Qian had a successful career in China, leading and becoming the father of the Chinese missile program with the construction of China's Dongfeng ballistic missiles and the Long March space rockets. Qian's reputation as a prominent scientist who, in effect, defected from the United States to China, gave him considerable influence in the China of Mao Zedong during the late 1950s. Qian rose through party ranks to become a Central Committee member. He became associated with the China's space program, from conception to manned space flight. Qian retired in 1991 and lived quietly in Beijing, refusing to speak to Westerners. In 1979, Qian was awarded Caltech's Distinguished Alumni Award. In the early 1990s the filing cabinets containing Qian's research work were offered to him by Caltech. Most of these works became the foundation for the Qian Library at XIAN Zhao Tong University while the rest went to the Institute of Mechanics. Qian eventually received his award from Caltech, and with the help of his friend Frank Marble brought it to his home in a widely covered ceremony. Qian was also invited to visit the U.S. by AIAA after the normalization of Sino-U.S. relationship, but he refused the invitation, having wanted a formal apology for his detention. In a 2002 published reminiscence, Marble stated that he believed that Qian had lost faith in the American government, but that he had always had very warm feelings for the American people. The PRC government launched its manned space program in 1992 and used Qian's research as the basis for the Long March rocket, which successfully launched the Shenzhou V mission in October 2003. The elderly Qian was able to watch China's first manned space mission on television from his hospital bed. Science fiction author Arthur C. Clarke, in his novel 2010, Odyssey 2, named a Chinese spaceship after him. Later life, in his later years, since the 1980s, Qian advocated scientific investigation of traditional Chinese medicine, Qigong and special human body functions. Some people claim that Qian actually did not spend his effort on Qigong, but that he just expressed that people should consider the widely practiced Qigong in a scientific manner. He particularly encouraged scientists to accumulate observational data on Qigong for the establishment of future theories.
From the early 1980s he studied in a number of areas, and created systematics, contributed on science and technology system and somatic science, philosophy, natural sciences, engineering science, literature and art, military science, systems science, geography, social science, and education, advanced the concepts, theory and method on system science open complex giant system, from qualitative to quantitative integration of hall for workshop of comprehensive and integrated system, and opened up a Chinese school of the science of complexity, organized scientific seminars and trained successors. In 2008, he was named Aviation Week and Space Technology Person of the Year. This selection is not intended as an honor but is given to the person judged to have the greatest impact on aviation in the past year. In 2008, China Central Television named Qian as one of the 11 most inspiring people in China. He died at the age of 97 on October 31, 2009 in Beijing. In July 2009, the Omega Alpha Association named Qian one of four honorary members in the International Systems Engineering Honor Society. A Chinese film production Qian Zhu Sen, directed by Zhang Jianya, stars Chen Kun as Qian was released on the 11th of December 2011 in both Asia and North America. Scientific Papers CNHS Two-Dimensional Subsonic Flow of Compressible Fluids, Aeronaut, Psi, 1939, Von Karman T, CNHS, The Buckling of Thin Cylindrical Shells Under Axial Compression, J. Aeronaut, Psi, 1941, CNHS 1943 Symmetrical Dukovsky Airfoils in Shear Flow, Q, APPL, Math, CNHS, on the design of the contraction cone for a wind tunnel, J. Aeronaut, Psi, 10, 68, 70, 1943, von Karman, and CNHS, Lifting Line Theory for a Wing in Non Uniform Flow, Quarterly of Applied Mathematics, Volume. 3, 1945, CNHS, HS, Similarity Laws of Hypersonic Flows, J, Math, Phys, 25, 247 to 251, CNHS 1952, The Transfer Functions of Rocket Nozzles, J, Am, Rocket Sock, CNHS rockets and other thermal jets using nuclear energy, the science and engineering of nuclear power, Addison Wesley Vol. 11, 1949, CNHS takeoff from satellite orbit, Journal of the American Rocket Society, Vol. 23, No. 4, 1953. CN, HS 1956 The Poincaré Light Hill QO Method, Advances in APPL, NEC, CN, HS 1958 The Equations of Gas Dynamics, Monographs, Engineering Cybernetics, CN, HS, McGraw-Hill, 1954, CN, HS, Technische Cybernetic, Übersetzt von Drive, H. Kaltenecker, Berliner Union Stuttgart 1957, Hydrodynamic Manuscript Facsimile, Zhao Tong University Press, 2007 ISBN 978-7-313-04199-9